Hello everyone, it's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio. Thank you for stopping by. I have a little craft along today that I'm just going to be putting some elements or a couple elements into the envelope junk mail envelope journal that we made. I'll link down below the uh, tutorial for how I put this together. So I'm just going to do a few elements in here and maybe, uh, maybe share some tips on um, on ways to even work on ephemera in your own uh, other project you've got going. Uh, please subscribe and also please like this video. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel out so very, very much. I want to thank you for uh, your support and uh, thank you for uh, your support with uh, buying me a cup of coffee. I so I so appreciate that. Not only financially does it help me, but you know it's it really is very encouraging um, uh, to to have someone do that. So thank you so much for that. Anyways, here we go. We're going to add an uh, envelope to this page. Now <clears throat> I know when I was putting this together, I mentioned that if you knew you wanted a certain flip somewhere, you could certainly. Uh, glue it in before you put your decorative paper over it and you would have a flip. But let's say, you know, you didn't know and, and didn't think about it and now you want to do something. So it's so simple. It's very easy. And that's what I'm going to do with this window envelope. Uh, this uh, CD envelope, which I've uh, tea stain so it's a little crinkly and wrinkly because of the tea staining but that's what I'm going to be doing and I want a flip up here <clears throat> right on this page and when you do a flip up envelope always make sure that if you have directional um, pattern to your uh, decorative paper that it is facing up the right way I have made a band here out of cardstock I've covered it with uh, scrapbook paper and I've made this little band so I am going to glue this flap. Well, first of all, I am going to miter the flap just a little bit more. And that way it won't show or be less likely to show. And I'm going to glue the flap. And I'm going to glue that right directly onto the band. Oops, like so. And the band is as wide as the envelope, and it depends if you um, if you want the band to be hidden, then you will want to make it as close to the width as possible. But maybe you can also have the band um, decorative band show a little bit more on the outside as well. I'm just going to go ahead and trim this off right here. It seems to be a little too wide. All right. Then now I've done this, I'm going to make this into a tuck spot as well as a, a decorative place for the flip, you know, so you don't sh see just the plain uh, paper of the envelope. And to do that, I'm just going to glue along the top and the two sides, and I'm leaving the bottom open so that I simply have It's like so. All right. There we go. So now I've got these three sides done and the bottom side is undone, which means this will be perfect for uh, putting an ephemera when I have it to put in there. So that is just easy peasy and it could be done on the side. It can be done anyway you would like it to be done so that's really cool now the inside of this journal I prepared here a piece of cardstock to fit inside I believe yeah if it's, if it's good so you want to make sure that you're you're not impeding that flip so whatever size that could be that's what you need to do and now I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one and I have a piece of ephemera here this little nest I thought this nest would look so cute inside of the circle and so I'm going to assemble that uh, let's just see if I want it to be here uh, yeah I think I want it down 
down like this. So let me just get the background paper uh, glued on. All right, the background is on, and now I need to <clears throat> determine, because I am working upside down, so I have to determine, do I want the roses to be up there, or do I want it to be turned around the other way? Let's see, like this. Yeah, I think I want them down. Yeah, I like that idea a little bit. So I'm going to assume that the very middle here is going to be about right for my nest. Get these little eggs in here. <clears throat> I think I've determined to put in uh, some birds in this journal. I'll kind of decorate with a few birds inside. And maybe some butterflies, some butterfly ephemera as well. So let's just put that right in the middle. Okay, and now we have a little piece of ephemera. Oh, and I put that in wrong, didn't I? After all that, I put the roses up on top. You see, it is kind of confusing to get it upside down, but it looks just as nice this way, I guess, as it does the other way as well. So there is the little nest inside, and then I have this um, little piece of, uh, and this background paper is also from Ephemera's Garden, and I believe it's from her Love is Chic kit, uh, that particular background paper. And this I cut out from a um, field guide, a vintage field guide, a little bird, but I really liked this soft color that he has, and I thought, I like the way he goes in there. So either I'm going to put him here. Um, see, I could put him in, and then uh, that way, when you open up, you're surprised to see a bird. <clears throat> yeah, I think maybe I'll put him in like that, just to give you a surprise of this when you open up the deal. Okay, there we go, there, yeah, I like the way that looks, looks really nice, oh, there's a little feather, hmm, I'm wondering about that feather now, that looks kind of fun, yes, I was visited by um, two bluebird couples for almost a week, they visit, I have a little water fountain, in front of my window where I craft and um, they came for two weeks and then they moved on probably did not find a good nesting place here but they were so pretty I have this first time I've seen bluebirds in my yard uh, down here in Florida so that was exciting um, I haven't decided about the feathers I'm gonna have to come back to that later I think so that is the flip with the little tuck spot that's finished and now to do these great big um, openings for these big envelopes. Uh, so you're not going to run across a piece of ephemera in a digital kit that's this big. More than likely you will not. <laughs> uh, usually the tags and the cards are a much smaller size. So never fear. Um, the way that I like to do this, because I want something to show in this window, of course. And I want to make sure I get it in the window. So the first thing I do is I, after I cut my uh, cardstock, you know, the size of my envelope, is I come through and I just sort of mark with a pencil lightly the opening, you know, just sort of get a sense of where that opening is. And then I pick my piece of ephemera and I'm going to put in these eggs which is part of the cartage garden kit or digital kit I'm going to put these eggs in here but then I don't want all that blank spot all the way around so I'm going to do some collaging and now that I have these marked off I know you know approximately where my collaging needs to reach uh, so that I can get there get my piece of um, uh, ephemera or uh, what I have gotten out of the kit because this is usually the size of your 
uh, cards and tags that you get from uh, different kits and even in the scrapbook um, packs and everything so you probably are going to have to do a little maneuvering with it there we go I think I like I feel like it's upside down okay well, I'm just going to cut it off here a little bit and then we're going to get the piece of music glued up there because really music sort of reminds me of birds yep and just get that glued on to the top all right and then we'll uh going to put in i believe i'm going to put in a little bit of this here off on the side and still have this left over and we'll glue this in now when i put the backgrounds in I like to make sure that I'm not, um, well here I did it though, I don't like to match the background right to where this is at and that unfortunately that's what happened up here so let me just uh, take that off a little bit there. There, just have a little bit of a difference yeah I like that better just have a little bit of a difference so that it's not too expected um, just a little unexpected and then I will have one to kind of come uh, over there on this side and let's just uh, maybe grab something like this here not too light um, I don't know if I like that either. Probably will have to just go in with something like this <clears throat> over here. More than likely. So they have like an uneven um, place where all these kind of meet. And that's kind of the way I like to do it. Not that it is a rule or you have to do it that way. Um, but that's kind of like what I like to do. Oh, I might use this one here. Okay, and that might pick up over there a little bit, so maybe I'll just go ahead and use this. And I think I can just uh, eye that up a little bit and put that inside. All right. I have these uh, put in. I've tried to make them uneven. And let me just redo this again. That's just sort of the area I need to put it in. So essentially it looks like it's in the middle. So that's good. That makes it a little easier. So that is finished. Um, I like the way that, you know, these are a little uneven up here. They don't, like, go right way across, and they don't meet right at the um, top of the card. It's just sort of a little uh, irregularness to it. <clears throat> and the back, though, is so big and so plain that I have decided to go ahead and kind of do a little bit of decorating in the back. It doesn't have to be a lot just um it's just going to do a little bit here uh, on the side with my scraps and i'm going to put it um, uh, on both sides i'll put a little bit over here on the right side so we're just going to put that over there in that way when you look at that big blank spot it might be easier to write in 
or to put something in there if there's something there already. You know, kind of um, get past that white page syndrome where it's so blank we don't know what to do with it. Because <laughs> there's too many choices, right? I think it's one of the reasons I don't art journal is um, for myself. There, there just is too much that I can do and I'm afraid that since I'm going to have to live with what I'm doing um, it won't be the right thing. You know, I tell you, it's really weird the psychological psychology behind all of that. I don't know how many of you art journal uh, in, in your uh, journals, uh, but I'd like to know how many do. Um, yeah, just let me know. Have you ever gotten that uh, white page uh, off-putting where you felt like, oh, what am I going to do next? I don't know. There we go. And that way, it just looks like a complete card. And I'm going to put this inside here. I know that window is so shiny against the camera there. So let's put this inside. And I, oh, I really do need to put a tab um, at the top. I can do that later. I'm going to put a tab up there so it's easy to pull it in and out of it. There we go. So there, there's the eggs. And I probably add more to this although I don't know I like to leave a lot of open space for writing so I don't know that I'll add too much there and I think there is one more um, that I'm going to do while we're together and uh, this one here I'm going to put that inside that window I think I'm going to add this is a glass scene envelope what I like about them is that you can see through them and I believe <clears throat> Either I'm going to add it here, um, I think I, I don't know, either there or back here. Hmm. Okay, let's, um, we'll do it in the front. And I'm going to make a pocket out of it and not really use the envelope portion. So I'm just going to cut across like so like that. It has like a natural dip there on the inside. And that way when you pull out your ephemera, <clears throat> you'll have a little see-through of something underneath. Plus this, I think, um, matches that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for there. Now, I can make this a double pocket, but this is pretty thin right along here. So I need to reinforce that with a little bit of something. So I think I'm going to reinforce it with that. I'm just going to fold this in half, this little strip, just fold it so, and cut it the length that I need it, right here a little tiny bit, and this way um, it'll hold up to a little bit more of taking the ephemera in and out so much. There we go. You can use a vellum as well as glassine. It is done, and I like it. You know, actually, I like having that up there. It just kind of adds to that glassine bag just a little bit. Kind of makes it a little bit um, stand out a little bit. So now we're just going to do our glue on the back and side. in the bottom. Just going to put a line of glue in there and I'm using a glue that dries clear which will be helpful I think for it to not show quite so much. But there we are with that. And here's our ephemera and then I am going to find something to put in behind here. With that, I'm going to stop here and thank you so much for viewing and we will have a flip through of this in the next day or two. And so you have a great and crafty day. Bye.